Three weeks ago my wife, 32 slash female, of 10 years left me, 43 slash male, out of the blue. Found out a week later it was for another man. We've been married for 8 years and have been together for 10. 8 years ago, approximately 5 months after our wedding, my wife left me for another guy. We were separated for 5 months but never divorced. She then returned, begging for a second chance, which I granted her. The past 8 years have been much superior than the prior two. We had a stronger connection than ever before. For 8 years, we never fought, never argued, and only on rare occasions, maybe 5 times in 8 years, did we raise our voices at one other. She was the perfect little wife. She loved to cook slashed bacon spoil me. All my friends were envious of how much my wife does for me. And I made it perfectly clear to her every single day how much I appreciate everything she does for me. How much I love her. And we would bask in how much better our relationship appeared to be than everyone else's. I enrolled in nursing school six months ago. The institution is 150 miles distant. I'd still be home 3-4 evenings a week but I'd be at school for a significant portion of every week for the next two years. I didn't make this choice without her. We spoke about it a lot, and she was quite supportive, and we were both pleased about the salary I'd be receiving after I graduated. We could finally buy a great home and take good holidays every year, rather than just every few years. We both gained a lot of weight over the previous decade. We both let ourselves go. Food was a huge comfort in our lives, and she liked to cook and make goodies for us. She's a professional baker. We tried and failed thousands of times to lose weight, invariably reverting to our old habits after a few months. We began again four months ago, and it was going wonderfully well until I had a sudden medical issue and required surgery, which had me laid up for a few months. She ended up reducing 75 pounds, needing to shed 90 to reach her desired weight, and looked fantastic. I think that's when the male clients at work began paying attention to me. I had one more surgery scheduled for July 21st, it was just to finish up the first one. The recovery and pain were supposed to be nothing like before, and they weren't. I feel great now about the surgery area. We went on an overnight road trip on June 29th, and it was fantastic. We made some of the best love we had made in months after that trip. Everything seemed to be wonderful. However, the strangeness began on July 4th. I noticed she became aloof, didn't respond to texts nearly as often as she used to, didn't kiss me as forcefully as she used to, and would simply sort of lay her arms on me in bed, or when we hugged instead of the strong squeezes, I was used to. I was in constant agony, but she was great the whole time. I reverted to my old eating habits for consolation, but she kept the course, or so I believed, and continued to lose weight. I was extremely proud of her, and even though she had a lot of drooping and loose skin, I couldn't have cared less. I love this lady with all of my heart and soul. It didn't matter whether she weighed 120 pounds or 400 pounds. Her brains and heart were all that mattered to me. When a spouse begins to lose weight and you don't, you always have a tinge of fear in the back of your mind of what could happen. But I never let that get to me because she had made that mistake eight years ago and truly regretted it. So I assumed she had learned her lesson and it would never be an issue again. Oh, how I was mistaken. I inquired if everything was okay and noted the changes I'd observed, and she assured me that everything was good, that work had just been particularly stressful recently and it was getting to her, which is true, her job has been crazy lately, and that she'd try to get back into our old rhythm. Nothing changed, if anything, the texts became less frequent, the kisses became less frequent, and she began sleeping on the other side of the bed instead of cuddled up next to me like she normally did. Something was clearly incorrect. I decided to be the best husband I could be, so I started doing all the choirs so she wouldn't have to. I did all the cooking or got takeout, so she wouldn't be stressed when she got home from work, and I went out and picked a huge bouquet of wild flowers, the same ones I picked for her, on our honeymoon. I pen page long love letters from the bottom of my heart, no fake romantic BS. All of this went unnoticed since I had slipped away after she had fallen asleep to perform the flower slash nerve stuff. I expected she'd return to the bedroom and wake me up when she got up for work. She didn't. In fact, she didn't even text me about them. Finally, I texted her to see how her job was doing anticipating she'd tell me how much she appreciated the flowers and card. Nothing. When I eventually inquired whether she'd seen them read the letter, she answered, Yeah, that was kind of you. I knew something was wrong now, but when something like this happens, you truly want to remain in denial. The next night, I asked for her phone to transfer some photos to it, and I noticed her deleting a bunch of text messages before handing it to me. I wouldn't have even checked her text, 
and she also began spending way more time on her phone than she had previously. Alarm bells were going off all over the place. My birthday arrived, and she prepared my favorite supper for me, but we were both too weary from work and other obligations to have that night. The following day, I attempted to start something in the bed, and for the first time in our relationship, she couldn't get in the mood after I had tried all the old trusty gotas. She was even shutting her legs as I tried to get her moving, something she had never done before. She apologized, saying she was simply tired from work, and we both went to bed. I told her I was going to meet a buddy five days later, but I actually simply went to the nearby beach to think about what I should do. I resolved then and there that if she wants to leave our marriage, I'll let her. When I arrived home, she had just gotten out of the shower. I eventually revealed all my anxieties right there in the toilet, and with tears flowing down my face, I told her that if she wants to leave our marriage, I'll let her go because I love her too much to keep her somewhere she won't be happy. She was sobbing as well, and she told me no, she wanted to remain, and she felt horrible that her actions were making me feel this way, and she was worried about our marriage. The following day, everything seemed normal, but you could sense something was still wrong. She slept with a blanket between us that night. The following morning, I sent her some lovey-dovey text messages, but she never responded. I visited Facebook Messenger a few times, and she was continually active there, implying that she was ignoring my text. I contacted her at work to check how her day was going and such, and when I questioned why she seemed to be ignoring me, she responded she was just busy. My operation was the next day, and we were meant to depart that evening for a pleasant date night and a surprise for her along the way. I simply figured things would get better after that and moved on. About an hour later, I got a massive text from her saying she's sorry, but she just wants out of our marriage. She claimed she's been unhappy for a long time and just wants out, but after some back and forth, she changed her mind and said she just needs time to reflect. I panicked and hurried to my brother's home, where I would be staying for school and where we had intended to be that night anyhow, since my operation was in the same town. I told her I'd be there and that if she wanted to chat or see me, even at 3 a.m., I'd drive straight down. I just didn't want to be alone, so I went to stay with relatives, and I needed to be up there anyhow for surgery. I begged her numerous times to come up because I wanted to see her face when I woke up from surgery, but she never responded. She stopped returning my phone calls and began ghosting me. The procedure came and went, and she never once inquired how I felt about it. I tried talking to her numerous times, but she would not respond to any text messages, and when she did speak to me on the phone, only when I called her at work, she would just say she was sorry and needed time to think. Received a text from her mother asking me some general things, which struck me as odd. I don't believe she'd speak to me about this stuff as she understood what we were going through. I imagined my wife had been staying at her house since she refused to stay at ours. I asked my wife where she was staying since I believed it was with her parents, and she said it was with her friend Faith. The following day, I used locate my iPhone to figure out where she was. She was in a home I'd never seen before, miles away from where she'd stated she'd be staying. I confronted her about it through text, and she told me that she was at Faith's and that the GPS was probably messed up due to the poor phone reception there. When I knew she was leaving work the following day, I opened the app and saw her drive directly to this weird residence. When she parked into the driveway, I called her, but she didn't respond. I immediately sent her a snapshot of her location and informed her that if she wasn't being honest with me right now, I was going to drive over to her house and pound on the door. The truth was ultimately revealed. She has been seeing another man for almost a month and now lives with him. They're madly in love, and she's leaving me for him. He's only here for a short time for work, so when he returns to the other side of the nation, she wants to go with him. She rejected down a large promotion at work that she'd been working her tail off for two years to acquire, and she turned it down two days before it was set to go through. She's leaving her family, friends, profession, and everything else for this new man. She deleted her phone, and, with it, the previous 10 years of memories we'd created together, photos, videos, etc. Then she admitted that she had lost all this weight because she had been misusing pain medications, which she had quit cold turkey a few weeks ago, and only eating one little meal a day at dinner time with me. I thought she had lost weight from healthy choices. Since then, I've been a mess, and she won't speak to me about anything. I know I should simply walk away, but I am still in love with her and am very upset. I gave all I had to try to preserve our marriage even skipping school, but it all fell on deaf ears. It's been three weeks, and the pain appears to be getting worse by the day. I have two voices inside my head. 
one that says, her dude, you can never trust her again, give up and go on, and another that says, I love this lady more than anything, I've never loved someone this much and never could again. I need her back. All of my friends and family advise me that I simply need to shut those thoughts out and concentrate on school, which begins on Monday, but I care about her so much that I think she's having a mental breakdown. I also don't know anything about this person and have no idea whether he's violent, a manipulator, or plans to exploit and abandon her. I'm concerned for her safety, but there's nothing I can do. She'll come begging back in six months. My buddies say, don't accept her back. But I have a feeling she won't, and even if I couldn't take her back, I want she'd contact me simply to make me feel less useless, as if the previous ten years didn't mean anything to her. But she's totally over heels in love with this new man, and she's pretending I don't exist and the previous ten years never happened. I've been having some pretty dark thoughts about myself. I haven't been eating, losing a lot of weight, which is wonderful I suppose, aha, and I'm fortunate if I get a few hours of sleep every night. I'm a mess. I'm in a deep depression and I have no idea what to do or how to get these emotions to go away. I'm not even sure why I'm writing all of this. I think I'm simply eager for some type of guidance.